Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Aborzi, and this is going to be the Artisan Hien Clone, Hybrid Pad, Hien Alternative, whatever you want to call it, Mouse Pad Tier List. These pads are all much cheaper than the Artisan Hien at $60, but god, just look at the amount of these mouse pads that are just trying to be the same thing. So I'm making this tier list to just show how bizarre it is and hopefully companies stop making it because there are enough options as you will see. And as always, this tier list was made by Synodo, so I'll put his links in the description. Massive thank you to him and make sure to subscribe so you never miss out on the highest level mouse pad content. Um, but without further ado, the Hien clone tier list. Um, first, we have the Hien. This is just to make a statement. If you have the money to get a Hien, like you can get artists and without paying tons of import fees, I would just recommend that because my Hien has lasted me. I mean, I've had it longer than any of the other pads, obviously. So I just still recommend the Hien quite a bit, but you're here for the cheaper alternatives. I get it. Um, you don't want to get the high star mouse pad. This is the TikTok Hien clone. And Matt, man, 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 it is just, it's not a good mouse pad. Where is it? Oh, it's this one. It's very thick. It's the thickest pad on this list. It's like over five millimeters thick. It has a low quality, inconsistent foam, which is just the opposite of what the Hien is. So it really misses the mark. The texture, it doesn't feel like the Hien whatsoever. It's just like soft and grainy, so it's not worth your money. But honestly, unless you're on TikTok, I doubt you've even heard of High Star. I just found it funny because none of the other pads are going to be in dog shit, but just the TikTok one fully gets it wrong. Next up is the Lethal Gaming Gear Mercury. I say it's A tier. I have been using the 3XL version since I got it. It's just been like a tarp on my desk. It's $60 for the 3XL, and XL Hien is $60. Obviously, I defend ours in prices all day. But, I mean, that's just an interesting way to look at it in terms of mouse pad for price ratio. Um, the Surface, I would say it is the closest to the actual, like, he and Soft itself with the Odin Infinity um, just closely behind. The Mercury's initial friction feels nearly identical to my year and a half old Hien. If you lightly graze over the texture with your finger, the Hien does seem a bit more abrasive, but if you press in, uh, the pads feel nearly similar. So I don't even know why I'm saying this. What is anybody going to get from that observation? I don't know. But the Lethal Gaming Gear Mercury, very solid. I will do a full review of it soon um, when those pads actually go live. Um, so next up is the Aqua Control Plus, all of the versions. Um, if they have a design on it, really bad, but if there's no design, they're absolute Hien tier. Um, that is a joke, of course. I just hate all of the drama because X-Ray Pad can't give their products different fucking names. They released a new one, the Aqua Control Plus Super. That is a Decanic Control clone. It makes no sense. Why is that called the Aqua Control Plus? Um, but whatever, the textures are minorly different. Is that a word, minorly? Whatever. Um, Aqua Control Plus White, this is the most controlled version. Uh, I actually have mine. The stitching is sort of, it's actually noticeably raised and the rubber backing is one of the worst. The pad is very light. It just feels cheap. I actually wrote on this for the final mouse event because I couldn't find a piece of paper. So it has some lore to it, but still, I would say it's in the B tier. And all of these other ones, like the ROB Strata, it doesn't feel quite like the He End. So I don't know. I, Aqua Control Plus isn't a big recommendation of mine. The Infinity, though, um, this is a pad that I've been recommending as a top tier He End clone for probably over six months now. I'm not even sure. Um, it's extremely good. The Infinity is definitely a bit less rough than the he and, and the pad does have less control because it is not as textured. Um, so that's one thing to note about it. This is the new Stealth Edition, which is 500 by 500 and has the different logo. It was just really good in the recent testing I did. I would say the quality of the stitching is slightly worse than the Lethal Gaming Gear pad, but it's just such a minor difference. It's not going to cause any issues in game. Um, just a minor quality thing. And both of those pads have great rubber backing, which are functionally no different than the Artisan, but of course, like Artisan will stick to your desk. Uh, but yeah, those are. Are some of the best. Next up, we have the Fanatic Dash. I'll put this in the B tier. Um, it was one of the first Hien clones to come out, and it got shilled extremely.
really hard. But then I got it originally. I was extremely disappointed because it's nothing like the Hien. I called it very watered down. It's like it's just not even trying to be like the Hien. Uh, but it's like you can still perform very well on the pad. It doesn't have much texture though, so you're not getting any stopping power from that. But the pad is more controlled overall, so some people will like it. Um, it is a bit. Is it like $35? I honestly don't know. I greatly apologize for my lackluster fanatic dash analysis. Um, next up, we have the Shinkai. You might be like, why is the Shinkai on the Hien clone tier list? If you rip off the coating of the Shinkai, I recommend you do it once the Shinkai wears out. Um, there is actually a Hien-like pad underneath. And I've removed the Shinkai's coating twice now on both a Xsoft and a mid Shinkai. And you can see that it is the same fabric as the Hien. It just doesn't have the same roughness. The Hien's texture sort of feels like very good blades of grass, if that makes any sense. Like very well-trimmed blades of grass. But the Shininkai Hien thing doesn't. But it's still a very passable mouse pad um, with that artisan level of quality because it's just an artisan pad. And if you have like a decaying Shininkai, um, nothing better to do than rip off the coating. Next up is the Game Sense Rush, which I'm going to put in the B tier. It's a pretty underrated Hien clone, I'd say. Well, first off, they don't really stock it. And second off, it's the exact same thing as the Odin Infinity, just a slightly more blue color. Um, so there's really not much to say about it. Like, it came out very recently. It's not really adding anything new to the market. But if it's in stock, what was it, $35 for that 500 by 500 size? I mean, it's a solid Hien clone. But really, the Game Sense Rush is just a worse availability Odin Infinity, so not much to say about it. Um, Razor Strider... Big brand Hien clone. I say it's in the A tier. The one caveat of this mouse pad, it is extremely abrasive. I saw some people in the comments, they were like, oh, you didn't say how abrasive it was. Please watch my original review of this mouse pad and determine if I said it was a rough mouse pad or not. Uh, so that is my word of warning. If you can't handle a rough um, pad, I would recommend either probably the Infinity. That's the safest recommendation in terms of least abrasiveness. Um, but the Mercury is not as rough and grainy as the Razor Strider is. Um, but other than that, it is great. It's like the most waterproof mouse pad I've ever seen. And usually it's just a feature where it's like, okay, that's cool. Um, but you can just see how water reacts to this mouse pad. It's pretty impressive. Um, so there is that. It's not going to be getting affected by humidity. Mine still hasn't shown any signs of wear. The Strider is extremely fast and consistent due to that rough texture. And usually, um, like in the case of the Hien, the roughness actually gives you some stopping power. Um, but on the Strider, it is so rough, so firm and thin um, that you don't really get the stopping power. And instead, you just get a fast texture glide so if that's what you're looking for the strider is a great option obviously razor so it's like global availability they have a 2xl size and this large size and the sizes are good enough i wish they had one with more depth however from the pads in the A tier, the Strider is definitely the fastest, lowest initial friction. So I would really recommend it for faster paced games. Uh, but I'm sure it's, you, could, you could play any game with any mouse pad realistically. The Mercury definitely, at least in my experience, is the closest to the Hien because it's four millimeters thick. It has some plushiness to it and it is not as textured as the Razor Strider, uh, but a bit more textured than the Infinity. What's that fucking ch children's story? like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, like the Mercury is the one that she chooses. Holy shit, far gone, far gone. Um, the Glorious Fire, this is in the Met here. Um, it's Glorious's carbon copy of the Fanatic Dash, but the thing is, it was like a $35 mouse pad. Um, fuck, where is it? And then you paid like $15 more after shipping and tax. So it's $50, which ironically is just like $10 less than the Hien. But I know since then they've put it on some pretty big sales and there's just really nothing to say about it. It is the exact same mouse head as the Fnatic Dash Man, the same exact manufacturer. So yeah, it's meh. 
And the last pad is the Zowie GTFX, which has actually been around for, I would presume, over a decade. Don't quote me on that. So it's not as much of a new fangled Hien clone as the rest of the pads on this list. But performance-wise, I would classify the GTFX as a Hien clone. It's very similar to like a Hien mid or Razor Strider. Um, it does have the SR base, which did cause a notorious QC issue. I found out about after I posted my review where a large majority of pads, or I won't say a majority, but a lot of the pads just never lie flat and there's nothing you can do about it. And it's slightly more expensive than the Strider. There's no larger size option. So I feel like it just fits in the B tier. And wow, that is all for the He and Clone tier list. That is incredible. Just spent over 10 minutes talking about black squares with various different textures. That's great. Oh, well, the Aqua Control Plus, the GOAT, you can get many, uh, many uh, colors on the Aqua Control Plus. Okay, I'm actually losing my sanity from this video. If you want a good mouse pad, either get the Hien or get a pad in the A tier. I kind of made this video with the assumption that people know what the Hien's like if you're looking for Hien alternatives. Um, but if you don't know, I'll leave the he link to the he and review in the description i will also link every single pad so you are a single click away from the he and clone or the he and of your dreams and that's going to be all for this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it peace